guys, it's Sarah Taylor. Welcome back to my channel and to my studio. Um, I'm going to be showing you a really beautiful painting today called Out of the Smoke. And it's for a, a wonderful couple that survived a horrible fire um, in their New York City apartment. And after they rebuilt their apartment, they wanted something to kind of represent survival and new beginnings and like this light, beautiful era of their life. So that's what the painting is about. It's, I feel like it's kind of the apex of this kind of semi-translucent pearl base coat that I've been working with. And I love it. Um, I've got some really crazy new ideas to go into after this. So stay tuned for that. Um, also, I'm releasing my limited edition prints today, um, and I'm really excited about it. I've not been able to really print um, or ship artwork overseas until now, so it's, uh, you know, I just wanted something to be accessible, and I really want to just send this work out into the world as much as I can. Um, I feel like even if it's a print, the energy and the love and the all of it comes comes right with it so uh yeah that'll be on my website and if you subscribe to my website i'll send you a coupon code as well so all right i'm going to get you onto the colors for this painting out of the smoke and i hope you love it um i hope you consider buying a print it's um kind of a unique gift you know if you've just wanted some of my artwork in your home on some level they will come on this beautiful archival paper and uh framed or unframed so all right that's enough out of me and much love you guys have a great holiday season okay bye i'm going to show you my colors for this painting so let's start here uh, this is a show pony tlp color for jeremy massey <laughs> and i added a little bit of this um, grumbacher paint called process magenta it's really it's a kind of a more of a red magenta it's really really pretty so a little bit of that in there just to kind of richen it up just a little bit more. And then this is a concoction of some color art pigment. Um, <clears throat> it's Twisted Lemon, Ginger Peach, and Pineapple Crush. And it started very yellow and I wanted to just kind of brighten it up. Not brighten it, but orange it up a little bit so I added a bit of Ginger Peach. This is Sassafras. This is a Melting Pearl painting. Um, this is a, oh my gosh, I, I think it's Desert Sand. Oh no, it's called Desert Clay. It's a primary element, and I'm kind of obsessed with this color. You see it on the jar, it's kind of got this like, almost like a pink shift to it a little bit, like the way it's dried here. It's really cool. Um, this is just kind of a fleshy tone. It's got some talon from Charvin, some titanium white, a little bit of raw sienna. And then this is <clears throat> um, Rebulite, primary element, color art. And I put a little bit of black in here, just carbon black. And then, um, yeah, that's it. This is actually just carbon black by Golden Fluid. I don't use black paint very often, but I just thought it needed it. And then this is white. It's a Modern Masters Iridescent Pearl, titanium white. And then I added a little bit of TLP Ballet Slipper in here. And you, you, I can tell that it's in there. It just gave it a little bit of an undertone, kind of a pink orange. Uh, this is TLP Ore, O-R-E, awesome, awesome gold. I mean, this is like, I've kind of shifted away from the Modern Masters gold. I use these pigments a lot to mix up my gold. Here's our base coat. It's um, very lightly pigmented, so it's my transparent base coat. And I added in a little bit of chalk paint, and then a little bit of this very, very light gray. So there's not very much pigment in here. You can tell the way it is against the stick there. There's not very much. It's a semi-transparent. And then this is kind of a little grouping of like cloud over paints that I've mixed up. 
Um, this is like magenta and white, raw sienna. This is a crazy mix. <laughs> it's um, Charvin Royal Blue Light, um, some fluorescent blue high flow, a little bit of manganese blue by Charvin, and then I added um, Deco Art uh, <clears throat> White Satin Enamels. This is 24 karat gold mixed with Atelier Rich Gold. Just gonna kind of play with these on top, and then I have some golden high flow and iridescent gold fine as well. All right, we're going on to this um, 30 by 48 inch canvas, and I'll get to it.
Okay, so I don't usually do this, but I'm going to do a walkthrough of the dry painting and just explain some of the things that are going on. Um, I'm going to start right in the center section. So uh, initially, this was about the same tone. And the way I got that sort of break in composition was I took the base coat and I brushed it on lightly over this whole upper section of the painting. And it kind of like gave it dimension and kind of dropped it back into the background. Um, and then it made the center section sort of pop out. So that was kind of the most dramatic move done. Um, and then this was all a little bit too, like it still has these beautiful, that's from the Rebulite, the, co the Color Art Rebulite, that bleeding. But I took a little bit of Nicolazo Gold from Golden and I kind of stained over that section just a little bit just to deepen it up um, and get it out of the pink zone a bit. Um, and then one thing I didn't get on camera was when I added this and I did that when it was wet, but that was a golden fluid iridescent. Actually, it was an interference gold that had a little bit of gold of a Charvin chartreuse mixed into it. Um, and then it was mixed with satin enamel. So it was like a cloud over in this kind of chartreuse gold color. And then there's two different golds that I played with on this. And I love the golden fluid or the golden high flow, which is this highly iridescent. And then this darker pitch in here is that Atelier Rich Gold Cloud Over mixture that I showed you in the very beginning. And then I kind of came in with some of that, that pink Cloud Over and highlighted some things a little bit. I added this really unexpected pop of, of blue and a few spots. Um, and I just like to do that. I like just something a little a little offbeat. So that's uh, where that came in. And I think my favorite bit is maybe up here. <laughs> and this is the desert clay and the rebulite kind of dancing together and blending together. Um, yeah, this was like an intense one. And I just, I really love it. It's headed to Manhattan, actually. It's going to be overlooking Central Park. So I'm really honored and um, I hope you like this painting. All right, much love.